This story is sponsored by Masterworks. It's all gonna come together, right, Moss? Working. What are you doing, working? So what's your feelings? The city's clean. We're not coming home tonight. We're living quick in this world. Gonna get it right now. It was spring 2018 when my buddy Mitch first told me that he saw it for sale. At that time, I was doing a lot of photography work on Instagram and transfixed with old vans. It was my dream to own one. Hey, uh, I'm calling about your uh, Volkswagen bus, the 71 that you have out. out. Yeah, um, have you had anyone looking after it or is it, is it still for sale? It's still for sale. What were you uh, looking to get for it? Uh, you said 10 to 12? Yes, sir. And it, so it runs and drives? Being young and excited, I jumped on the opportunity. Even though I didn't know what to look for, and I ended up getting ripped off, which I wouldn't find out until years later. <laughs> I would so much rather invest money into something that's gonna bring unlimited memories and experience than hold on to it and be an old geyser. Yeah. And that first day I picked it up, it felt like buying my first house almost. It was like I had a mini hideout on wheels. My first real place all to myself that I completely owned. A nook I could design entirely from scratch that would take me anywhere I needed to be. I loved the green color, but the home paint job was a Bondo mess. And this was gonna be a summer adventure vehicle and I wanted it to pop against the green foliage. I knew what color I wanted to paint it, but I had trouble finding a shop that would take on the job, as a lot of the local shops just do insurance work these days. The interior was pretty ratty, and I couldn't wait to design it myself. But I knew as soon as I took it apart, it wouldn't be that usable until it was done. And that sentence ended up echoing for over four years. but I knew what I had to do, and I got to work. <laughs> and it was that same summer that I sold my old red truck that was falling apart. And then, that fall, after my career started going well, I bought Old Blue. And a few months later, I hired two friends and we started building the Trout and Coffee office. And I'm making a full documentary about that this winter. And the van sat through that winter as I continued to look for a shop to do the paint job. Though life was getting incredibly busy and this dream had slid towards the back burner. I had, I had a really funky day today. And uh, that happens, you know? Life is kind of a funky wave that you have to ride. And some days you're on the top and it feels amazing. Some days you get rolled into the current, you feel like you're drowning. Today was one of those days. Even though I got a good amount done, the energy was just weird. But it happens and it's part of life and you gotta know that those days are coming. 
they balance out the good days, so they're important. I'm gonna go meet Mason, go for a run, do a little workout, and then go fly fishing. Oh boy, it's gonna feel amazing to be outside. Summer, it's the first day of summer. <laughs> it's summer. Before I knew it, it was summer 2019, and my friends and I had gone our separate ways after the office build. My brother Simon was home from out west that summer, and I still had an extra studio from the chaos of the office build, with endless client jobs lined up, not sure how I would tackle them all alone. Oh yes, I'm gonna paint those. I've been meaning to do this. I'm so excited Please. to get this place ready. Yeah, those are the visors for the truck. <laughs> But the universe tends to naturally align things, as Simon knew the perfect person to help me with these jobs. Oh, did you get uh, uh, Noah's stuff? He's yes, he's yeah, I got the email. I haven't opened it yet. But he I, said he sent like eight videos and like a bunch of other stuff he was talking about. Where? He was, uh, yeah, he came over to the apartment a couple days ago when you were fishing with your dad. He did? He was just like, this is fucking amazing. No way, ah, oh, if he was around, I would have given him a full tour. No, no worries. I mean, he was super down. It's actually like, cool. especially now that you're not going on a trip. He's uh, he does really, really want to like meet you. And that's when I met Noah. And after we crushed that fall together, we continued working together into 2020. When I bought the old red truck that was parked outside my office for years from the landlord. Because apparently, I didn't have enough unfinished projects on my hands. But it was a fire truck and it only had 4,500 original miles. I couldn't let it just sit there. And in the spring of 2020, I finally found a shop to take on the van. And after a sandblast, it was apparent the paint job was just a cover-up. As almost every single body panel was rusted through or scraped and dented irreversibly and would need to be replaced. And it spent over a year and a half in that shop before I finally laid eyes on the final product in November of 2021. <laughs> oh man, it's perfect. It's exactly what I pictured. Wow. And in the time it was getting painted, I met my girlfriend Allie. And she was there with me when I took it home for the first time and it died on a hill in an intersection, and a long saga of towing began. in and out of shops through the holidays, trying to tame the rat's nest of electrical. Then I'd try to drive it to storage, and it was back on the tow truck. until spring 22 came, and I drove it to the Volkswagen Oracle himself to finally get to the bottom of it all. And slowly but surely, he picked away and at least got it running consistently and I drove it in the April sunshine right around the time I turned 30. And though it hadn't been driven enough to work out all the kinks, it was at least roadworthy for now, and the goal was to build the inside and make sure it was mechanically sound to drive to Maine by early June for a video job.
Though this entire bus transformation was very expensive, it's a long-term investment that's only going to appreciate over time as fewer and fewer of these are on the road. And I tend to gravitate towards unique investments, which is why I found Masterworks interesting. I told you about them back in January, and the recommendation is even more relevant now given the state of the economy. Inflation is at a 40-year high, the stock market is in the gutter, but last time inflation was this high, high-end art appreciated over 33% annually. And so far this year, art sales are up 25%. This is why Masterworks is seeing very real demand right now. Over 300% since I mentioned them in January. Because normally to get exposure to the high-end art market, it would cost you a house on Nantucket. But Masterworks makes it possible for anyone. They analyze millions of data points to identify which paintings could rise in value, acquire them, and break them into shares that you can add to your portfolio. Their half a billion dollar collection of art has appreciated over 15% annually on a deal-weighted basis since 2019. Demand is high right now, so there's currently a waiting list. But if you click the link in the video description below, you can jump to the front of the line. So thank you to Masterworks for supporting this channel, and now let's get back to it. So the race was on, and it was time to put all the pieces together. Meanwhile, the earth was coming to life, and there was so much else going on in the background. <laughs> oh, showing off. Oh. <laughs> he sprinted right by everyone. <laughs> My parents' yard was exploding with color, and all the feelings of summer in the little red house were flooding my mind. These are so wild. So we'd pick up components for the van that I had stored for many years at my parents' house while I balanced helping Allie finish the cabin garden with building the van interior. And so Ali set up a solar-powered drip system for the raised beds, and we made a little shelf to cover the module. And on the first day that we drove the van to the cabin, one of the front brakes locked up and gave us a heck of a time for the last few miles, which meant that I couldn't get an inspection sticker and had me nervous about my June deadline, which by now wasn't far off. I ordered new front calipers, rotors, and pads, and thought back to when Mason had shown me how to do the brakes on Old Blue. I couldn't quite remember the process in detail, so I called him to see if he'd be up for round two, and I promised that I would retain it this time. And so I started by cleaning out all the old stuff that had been sitting in the van for years, and then the first job I wanted to tackle on the interior was the ceiling. Smells 
was gassy. <laughs> it started right up, fired right up. And it, it didn't feel like the brakes were locked. Maybe we'll just take it for a little drive to keep it fixed. So I bought cheap furring strips and some self-tapping metal screws to secure the strips via the ribs and the ceiling. I like the fitting. This is going to look so cool. Huh? Okay. Park I always get anxious about projects until I start. And then I work for about a half hour and define my process and then catch a groove and feel unstoppable. And I searched my parents' garage for more of the missing parts and old interior pieces that I could use as templates. I'm in trouble and sure to kind of looks good. <laughs> it meets, it butts up perfect. And though we could only get to the cabin a couple days a week, I tried not to go too long between renovation days in order to keep the momentum strong. You spend too long away from a project, you start to lose your drive on it. And as I rounded the final bend on the ceiling, a visitor appeared in the forest. You got a lighter in here somewhere? Matches in front of the shifter always. 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 You really gotta make the dedicated switch. <laughs> you do. It's kind of a, is this new? It just came out of a dumpster. Come on. No, it's funny. He, I haven't seen him in a while, and it's not because I don't want to see him or anything like that. I haven't seen anyone in a while. But he calls me often. Insulate it? I put this stupid 
silver shit on the... Oh, why? Well, yeah, I saw that on the roof, but I mean in the walls. Well, uh, nothing guess. yet. <laughs> <laughs> and though it still needs trim and other details, the brunt of the ceiling was finished, and it looked just as I had hoped. Toe hooks? Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> and that night, I brought some fresh morels my mom had found over to Mason's place for dinner. Oh no, don't tell me. <laughs> you don't think they're real? Oh no, they're definitely real. I just. What is this flower? The tree peony. <laughs> and we feasted on the bounty of the hills, De Colin. A soul night that we don't get enough of anymore. <laughs> and there were spring cookouts at Ali's grandparents and new blooms popping up all over the cabin property. And with the ceiling done, it was onto the floor which I insulated with thick vinyl I use in my vocal booths to help dampen the road noise. And with that done, I took it for a few drives to see how the brakes were feeling, since the parts still hadn't come in yet. And by this point, the early June deadline was only a few days away. After I did the floor trim, I was going to start veneering the inside furniture with barn wood. And I put a few of the door panels in to see how they looked, though I didn't have all the clips just yet. And with just these few little changes, it was already feeling so different inside.
I used the original single seat because it was in fine shape, but I was going to rebuild the old bench platform to give us more storage space underneath. And so I took apart the old one to use as a template. But before I could finish, a diesel Dodge pulled down the driveway as the brake parts had arrived and it was time to learn this process once and for all. Into the best part. Templates. Templates. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Oh wow, dude. Come from the driver's side. I know, right? Do it from the driver's side. Gotta put the new fabric on. <laughs> I love no, the logic. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going fast. I'm drunk. Like, it's just like you you're, been not proud. As, you're just not as scared, so you're not skittish, that's, and you just like do you it. You do need to embrace it, yeah. That's true, yeah. Drinking improves everything to a point. <laughs> right. It's what is that law called? Uh Diminishing returns. That's the one. Diminishing returns. Seriously, start start to diminish after a little while. God, I, it's like, duh. Well, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, do you have a uh, do you have a grease with you? Grease gun? Uh, any kind of grease. I got grease. I need that grease. I just want to get those brackets all greased up. But they're sitting laying on. Oh yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Wow, a lot of moving parts here. It's, I like I said, I think I lay awake at night <laughs> just like <laughs> well let's see a couple things to consider here there's a there's washers in here and i can't tell if they're metal or plastic why do you have to go All right, do you see those brackets what do you mean by that like how oh, greasy are you thinking well you wanted to do the whole Get the grease gun out and start pumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah I did. I'd be up at night. Yeah. <laughs> See what I had. Put the cool day. Yeah. Went to the farm first thing this morning. What are you gonna do in this room? Let me it right off. I'll take that. Well, it, it had been fine. I drove it up the road. All right, so it, it freed itself up, but it was sticking. Right. Well, we're doing them both anyway, so. Yeah. Well, it's good I figured, it. though, I mean, if it does it once, it's probably inevitable. Probably going to do it again. Oh, then. Nothing. <laughs> Let's see what's going on under here. Get in there. All right. <sighs> All right, you have a job here. This What's is great. my job? Put this glove on. Okay. You gotta plug me under this brake line, okay? You're gonna just put your finger on it and hold, hold your finger on it for probably like a good five to ten minutes. Is that really? okay? You have that kind of stamina in you right I now. I mean, yeah. All right, ready? It's starting now. And did you touch the lugs? No. Always do that. Whenever you think you got a brake sticking, that'll confirm. It'll it'll be hotter than the other. Really? Yeah. Good to know. That's good to know for sure. Right. This is right. Uh oh. I got some mysterious looking parts here. What are those? Those are the slides, huh? Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that requires a hammer and a punch. Hammer and a punch, hammer and a punch. Come on, get me a nail, boy. You're on a nail. Actually, man. I think I have a punch in the truck. Punch City. What, what box is this? Miscellaneous. This is pretty miscellaneous at this point. We should all swim in Plainfield Pond later. Like the last place I like to swim. Where is the first? Like anywhere where the water moves. So <laughs> today I got here. Yeah. Standing down here <laughs> and hear this crazy this distress call of an animal. I thought it was a rabbit or something. High pitched, just like ah, ah, ah. What the? <laughs> and then I run up by the rover over there and I could tell that it was very close and about 100, 100 feet away, not even, just like right 
past these big pine trees, a fisher cat like booms by. Uh. And I was like, oh shit. And then a deer comes by chasing it. And it, then, it went after its baby, I bet. Yeah. And then I chased after both of them. And like, they were just like, it was crazy. It was like the fox no. and the hound narration. Like the craziest shit. That's, that is wild. And then they went across the river. I saw a baby, like a baby fawn yesterday, so I'm not you surprised. Did. I'm sure it was after it's... It had to be. Wait, there? are you talking about, um, what's his name? I, I keep trying to think of his name and I can't grab it. I had that in my truck for the longest time right here. Yeah. What was that? A left note? It was a paper plate <laughs> <laughs> that said, like, thanks for helping us out or whatever. Yeah. Like, are you uncomfortable? <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Oh my God, we need some silicone lubricant. You have? I have, it's in Is this? That is silicone lubricant, but it's not the one I want. I want a different variety. Multi-use well, penetrating lubricant. Sprays upside down. Wow. That's unheard of. That's what I'm looking for in my... I want to be very careful not to put too much because if it gets onto the cow, if it gets onto the pad, then the brakes won't work. I'm doing a big hair transformation. I can see that. No. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm just kidding. I was, I was getting I'm getting big. bangs. <laughs> You're getting bangs, no way. So always start with a wrench. Because if you go to use an impact and it's cross-threaded, you know, if you don't get it on right. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Oh gee, status. Oh god. <laughs> hey, what's up? Not much, man. I broke your trailer in half. Tomorrow, what are you doing? <laughs> working. What are you doing, working? night under the pines and finished both the front brakes, talked and laughed and ate well. And I was feeling grateful to have a friend like Mason in my life who has taught me more about working with my hands than any book or video ever could. Oy. Oh, can't sit on the tire if you're going to put it on. <laughs> brakes were finished, the brake lights were no longer working, and hopes of an inspection sticker and meeting my June deadline were looking grim. But I continued collecting a few more parts, 
and scoured my original office in the attic of my parents' garage for any last remnants. I can't believe how many peaches this is gonna have. There's so many. I'm gonna make peach cribbly. <laughs> Every branch has multiple, multiple. And it's got a test feature, right? And though we were a little behind on the garden, our setup was looking promising. <gasps> it's dripping. Oh my gosh! It's literally working. This is it works! <laughs> Some of them really spray, it's funny. Well, that's just about the coolest thing I ever saw in my life. Wait, that's the, it would maybe it would make sense that it's the switch because that's the only place that it takes a reading that the brakes are being used, right? <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that makes that works because either way, I got to take this thing out here, and I was going to bring it. I, I'll either call you beforehand or just show up. Six thirty-ish. <laughs> And so while I waited for a brake light switch to come in, I continued on the interior furniture. The seats my mom reupholstered looked great with the brown door panels and the quirky plaid we picked out four years ago. That's <laughs> <laughs> so cool. It's perfect. Right. Hey, wait it. and I finally faced these brackets which had been keeping me up at night as I couldn't remember how they worked. And though I eventually figured them out, I would need to fine tune everything when I had more time. And by now, there was only one day till we were set to leave for Maine. And I had one last shot at getting the brake lights to work. How did you know about this? I've been drinking it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I know about it. <laughs> I am now. Jeez, really? <laughs> I mean, he was at your, I just drove by. 25, 30. Not our age or around there. Maybe uh, a little older. Huh. 
No. It's filled last night. Yeah? Dude, they were paving like I the, know. It was nuts. And as it turned out, I missed the deadline. And we took the rover to Maine. But there were no hard feelings, and all was well in the end with the client. So now, with the deadline no longer in place, I knew I should really be focusing on finishing the cabin interior, as that's my biggest project. So I didn't want to get too involved on the more complicated interior parts of the bus until I had finished that. Then I'd be able to sleep at the cabin in the fall and wake up and work long full days finishing the bus. So in the meantime, we did a few final touches so it would at least be ready for summer adventures. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Volkswagen Oracle fixed the brakes, and I got that inspection sticker. And I checked in on my old red truck, which is nearly road ready after a few years in the shop as well. took the bus for its first real summer drive. On the road, headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country, past old timey scene Big birds were singing in the tall Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to thousand miles back A better time Places it had won't be. And though it took over four years, the dream of parking this bus on the edge of a fresh hay field at Blue Hour finally came true. And given we make time, I'll meet you down the line. Long coat, walking on a New York he street. He was like, Dude, pack of crushed, crushed cigarettes fell to right. her feet. I'm losing sight. Well, ain't it odd how some people meet? 
but that's the truth. And two pictures buried in a guitar case underneath the music sheets all over.